In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make an abacus, which is the first type of calculator. Uh, at the end of the video, I'm going to show you how to actually use it to calculate things. You can do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. Uh, and for the first part, you're going to need a template, a pair of scissors, a piece of cardboard, and a glue stick. So the first thing you're going to do is you are going to cut the template out, like so, right along the lines. until it looks like this. Once you have this, you're going to put some glue with your glue stick down on your cardboard. Make sure you get the uh, edges and corners. Those are the most important parts. So I'm going to make some glue down there. Then you're going to put your template right on top. Stick it down, and then you're going to take your scissors, and this right here is the trickiest part. The trickiest part because you have to cut this rectangle out from the center without destroying it. So to do that, the thing I think is the easiest is just to puncture a hole in the middle to start it, carefully puncturing a hole, and then work your way towards the edge. hardest part, so you got to be careful. However, you can do it. I'm going to get it nice as best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. I want to show you that you don't need big scissors. Small scissors will work just fine. Again, this is the hardest part. Just try not to mangle it too much. If you do mangle it, you can always put it another glue, another template on top of it to make it look pretty. You can use the other side too. Very careful not to cut your fingers. Okay, I think that's out. Let's see if I missed any spots. Oh, yeah, I missed two spots. You can see it from the back, but I missed some spots. Okay. That looks a little messy, but that's okay. If you want, you can trim it out, make it look a little nicer. But that's the basic shape that you need. The next step is to take six pipe cleaners, one at a time, and we're going to be making the uh, beads that go across. To do that, it's pretty simple take a pipe cleaner and then you can do any sort of uh, pattern of beads that you like. I think what works best is if you have the lighter beads in case you want to write numbers on them. I find that helpful. And then uh, each five have it be a darker bead, which helps you um, helps me if I want to count one, two, three, four, five, six, Helps, if I want to quickly count to six, helps me see it better. If it's uh, four and then the fifth dark one, and then four and then the fifth dark one. But anyway, any beads will work. That's up to you. It's your preference. So what you're going to do is get any beads. I am going to use that same pattern where I have four light ones. One, 
two, three, four, and then one dark one. So I can quickly see that's where the five is. And then you can do any pattern you want, but I'm just going to do another four ones, this time a different color. And then another dark one to show that we've reached 10. So 5 plus 5 is 10. So next, what you're going to do is the corrugated cardboard has folds. You can actually put the pipe cleaner right into one of those folds. Try to match it up with one of the X's. And then you can push it all the way through like that. And then you're just going to feed it in through the other side, trying to make it go through where the X is approximately. And it goes like that. Oops. Maybe a little bit higher. And should go all the way through, unless you uh, accidentally damaged the cardboard a little bit by cutting it. Looks like that goes through right about there. Maybe a little bit lower. Okay, there we go. So I'm pushing it through. So now I have 10 beads on the bottom. Notice how I'm going to be counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you wanted to count from the other direction, you can just switch it around. But uh, we have the beads through. And to keep them stay there, keep them staying there, uh, you can just take your pipe cleaner, fold it around. You can see I'm doing it from the back. See, I'm keeping the pipe cleaner folding around the excess and wrapping it around, trying to be uh, as tight as I can. That side's pretty secure. And I'm going to slide the beads back, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm going to wrap the cord around, wrap it around like this. Just twisting it just so it's tight. You want it tight, but not so tight that it's there's so much tension that it uh, rips the cardboard in half. So that is the first layer of beads, just like that. So this is the com uh, completed one. This is the one I just did. And it uh, already, you can start counting from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And you can just, uh, that's in the ones place, and you can just add the extra layers on top. I'll do that and uh, you can see what it looks like when it's finished. Here's the second row, the tens, the tens beads. And I'm going to push it through where the tens are. You can see where, it, try to line it up with the uh, X and the template as best you can. Doesn't need to be exact. And again, you can always put a new template on, on top of this. That makes it look a little bit prettier. Then over here. Right through. And now I'm going to level it just like I did before so we have an equal amount sticking out from both sides. And then I'm going to fold it over. You can see from this side. Folded it over. And then I'm going to twist this part around. Slide the beads back. I'm going to do the same on this side. Fold it over. Twist this around, and that should stay. So that's the second row. The final of the six uh, rows of beads. You can see what it looks like on the back, and then on the front. If you want, you can add numbers to it. I think it helps it uh, work pretty much uh, better. I'll just give you the basics. So to count, we can count very simply. We got one, two, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
Well, we ran out of beads on this row, so we're counting at 10, move all these back, and this one bead here is the same as 10. So that's 10, because everything on this uh, uh, line here is times 10. So this is the 10's place. So that's a 10. That's the same as if we had 10. 10, 10. That's the same. So 11 would be 10 plus 1. And we have uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 10 and 10 make 20. We ran out of uh, beads, so we can do the same thing. We move these over, move this, and we're still at 20. We've got 1, 2 in the tens place, so that's 20. So 2, 20. So 21 would be that. 2 in the tens place, 1 in the ones place. To actually use this for math, let's try something simple first. Let's try something like um, 8 minus 3. So if we start off with 8, oops, that's 8 right there, that's 8, minus 3. 1, 2, 3. Here's a, a bigger example. Let's say uh, 42 plus um, 105. 42 plus 100, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 42 plus, what did I say, 105, is equal to 147. You can also use this for very big numbers, such as, um, let's say, 1,200 and... Four, uh, and 34, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1,234 plus 5,000, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, plus 5,000 would be 6,234. You can also use this for subtraction. For example, let's say you have um, like uh, 15, which would be 1 plus 5, and then I'm going to subtract 8. So that's 15, that's 1 and 5, so I'm going to subtract 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, eight. Remember when I switched it from this bead, uh, like the whole set of beads shifting over there? That doesn't change anything. So let me do that one more time so you can see. Uh, something like um, 10, let's say 13 minus 5. 13 minus 5. Hopefully you don't need a calculator for this, but uh, if you did that 13 minus 5, you'd say 1, 2, 3, four, five. And what we're left with is eight.